Cairn, a small, sturdy, shaggy-coated terrier who's highly intelligent and confident. The breed is alert and always ready for action. The Cairn is also curious and quick to learn. And, like all terriers, he's independent and a bit stubborn. He must know who is in charge, or he will take charge. Early obedience training and socialization are essential. In spite of his independent nature, the Karen is a sensitive dog. His feelings are easily hurt, and he doesn't respond well to scolding or harsh corrections. Kind, positive training is the best method for teaching the Karen. Karen Terriers are very affectionate, particularly with children, and while some small dogs can't handle the rough and tumble games kids play, the Karen Terrier loves them. He even invents some of his own. That's not to say every Karen Terrier will automatically be great with children. Adult supervision of playtime along with training and socializing of the dog are still required. But in most cases, kids and Karens are a match made in heaven. The Karen is a terrier, which means his natural instincts are to bark, dig, and chase. These behaviors can be minimized with training, but they can't be eliminated. If you don't enjoy the typical terrier temperament, you should consider another breed. The Karen is intelligent and curious. He also has a mind of his own. He will challenge your authority, good-naturedly, of course, but you must be able to establish and maintain your role as pack leader, or he'll get the upper hand. The Karen loves the attention of his family. Do not leave him alone for long periods of time or he may become destructive. The Karen Terrier often thinks he's bigger than he actually is. Don't be surprised if he stands up for himself against large dogs or animals. To get a healthy dog, never buy a puppy from an irresponsible breeder, puppy mill, or pet store. Look for a reputable breeder who tests her breeding dogs to make sure they're free of genetic diseases that they might pass on to the puppies, and that they have sound temperaments. The Karen might be small, but he's so confident that it's easy to forget his size. He has the typical terrier independence and no-nonsense attitude, but he's a friendly dog who can adapt to any type of home, from a city apartment to a country farm, both will give him the opportunity to practice his ratting skills. Alert, active, and curious, the Karen functions as a watchdog, child playmate, and all-round family friend. When both dog and child have proper supervision and training, Karens and kids fit together perfectly. Karens are sturdy and forgiving of accidental bops on the head or stepped on paws. Still, it's important to protect them from a toddler who doesn't yet understand how to pet a dog nicely. Don't expect the Karen to be a lap dog, despite his small size. He might give you a minute or two of his time, but he's got things to do and places to go. Just be sure they don't involve digging up your garden, his large feet and strong nails, not to mention his terrier instincts fit this pursuit perfectly. The Karen is smart and learns quickly. There's never any need to yell at him or treat him forcefully, he'll respond to positive reinforcement in the form of praise, play, and treats as long as he knows you're in charge. Be firm and consistent in what you ask of him, and he'll be happy to play follower to your leader. Let him get the idea that you're wishy-washy, though, and this fearless and tenacious little dog will take it upon himself to run your household. And without training, supervision or appropriate levels of play, he'll become bored, spending his time chewing, barking and digging to keep himself occupied. Don't let that happen. The History of the Cairn Terrier The Cairn descends from small, rough-coated terriers living in the Scottish Highlands, in particular, the Isle of Skye, where they kept farms and barnyards free of rats and other vermin and hunted foxes, otters, and badgers. Back in the 18th century, they were often referred to as short-haired terriers or little sky terriers and probably resulted from crosses between the now extinct white terrier and black and tan terrier. In 1912, the Cairn Terrier was designated as a breed, taking its name from the piles of stones that marked ancient Scottish burial or memorial sites. These stone piles were often hideouts for the vermin sought by the terriers. The first Karen Terriers were imported to the United States by Mrs. Henry F. Price and Mrs. Byron Rogers in 1913. In both the U.S. and in England, the Karen and the West Highland White were interbred until 1917, 
when the American Kennel Club barred registration to any dog from such interbreeding. That same year, the Cairn Terrier Club of America was granted AKC membership.